Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for Granta EduPack. In this video, we'll be using the Browse function to explore the data within the software. To begin, let's start with the Level 1 database and open the Browse function through the main toolbar. By default, the material universe is selected. Let's explore the data sheets found at Level 1. When looking at the material universe tree structure, Notice some folders have a small I in the corner. This icon means that there is a folder level datasheet available. These provide a general overview of the relevant material group. By double clicking on the metals and alloys folder level record, we can see example products made of metal, details of elements found in metals, and some general properties at a glance typical failure mechanisms, processes used, and typical uses can also be found in this folder level datasheet. Now let's explore a material datasheet. Find aluminum alloys in the folder tree and double click to open the record. Material information is displayed in a consistent format throughout the database. At level one, this begins with an image of the material and example products. For aluminum, we have building cladding, espresso makers, and airplanes, followed by a brief description of the material as well as the material's composition. Next, we have material properties. General properties, including density and price, are listed below. Scrolling down, we can see more property categories, such as mechanical. Note that most of them have two values. These correlate to the typical minimum and maximum for the material. For example, the range for yield strength for aluminum alloys is 109 to 439 megapascals. Similar to how the number of records changes across databases, the amount of data in the records changes too. In level two, additional data for durability, geoeconomic, material processing, and recyclability is included in the material records. At level three, the amount of data in each of these sections is further expanded, but the images are removed. Choosing the appropriate database for a given application or project depends on the amount and detail of data needed. Now let's explore a process universe data sheet. Switching to the Process Universe from the drop-down menu, we can see that all three folder-level records, Joining, Shaping, and Surface Treatment, have the I icon in the upper right-hand corner. This again signifies a folder-level datasheet. Opening the Shaping folder, we can find the Injection Molding record. Double-clicking to open, we can see the process records are laid out in a consistent way similar to the material records. Some images of machinery and final products made using this process are shown, as well as a description of the process. A schematic is included to show the key aspects of the process. Data on material compatibility, shape, economic compatibility, physical and quality attributes, and supporting information can be found in these data sheets. Just like the materials data sheets, the amount and detail of data increases as we change levels in Grant to EduPack. The final data we want to explore is accessed through individual data sheets. Let's go back to our aluminum alloy data sheet through the tabs at the top of the window. Scrolling, we can find the entry for Young's modulus we can see there is a circled eye icon next to the attribute name. Clicking this icon opens a new window called a science note. Science notes are included in the software to give additional information regarding the associated attribute. We can see details on how this attribute is defined and measured, as well as some theory behind the origin of the attribute. At the bottom of these science notes are additional references for further reading. 
These notes serve as a great way to quickly gain understanding of different attributes or properties. Think of it as a textbook definition right at your fingertips. In this how-to video, we've explored the data in Grant to Edupack through the Browse function. More information on Grant to Edupack can be found in the description below. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.